Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be playing Creative Destruction on PC. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Skips, and today we are playing Creative Destruction, which is very similar to Fortnite, but we're going to get into that later in the video. Now, I want to make two announcements in that as two people have commented, and uh, just me responding, yes, I am going to make one, two, maybe a series of more Save the World videos, and when Playground Mode returns, I'm going to try and schedule a 1v1 with Jeremy. Now, anyway, back to the video right here. Well, we actually had a pretty passive star, so let's go ahead and get into the action. Now, to put this game into context, I would say that it's like PC, Fortnite, and mobile PUBG put together. And what I mean by that is that the building and weapons remind me of Fortnite, but I feel like there are bots in this game, like in PUBG Mobile. I would also compare this game's graphics to Fortnite, but I definitely think that Fortnite looks a lot better. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about PUBG Mobile though. Tell me uh, what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, one thing about Creative Destruction though, which is pretty cool, is that farming materials is pretty easy, resulting in a lot more building, more build fights, ETC, which you may like or not, I certainly do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to Creative Destruction's website if you want to check it out. This video is not sponsored, just putting that there in case you were curious. Now, let's go ahead and check out a build fight I had later in this match. After surviving the zone, I picked up a few more easy kills and was able to get a flamethrower, which I really wanted to use. After coming across this next player, you can see that he had just been in a fight, so I wanted to apply a lot of pressure to prevent him from healing. Now, I started to ramp wall push him, and he also started to ramp up, but I was able to secure the high ground. This was my first build fight, but um, it was also only my second game, so I was genuinely surprised. Now... Pretty much, I applied pressure and he went into turtle mode, but it was definitely no match for my flamethrower which absolutely melted his walls and then him. You will notice that your building materials upgrade during the match, which is, I believe, the result of kills, but I will still need to clarify that. Anyway, after that, four players remain and I had tons of materials and it had come down to a 1v1. After finding the last player, I was able to actually tag him with the bolt action, however sadly body shots are currently not able to do that much damage like in Fortnite, so it was not as effective, however I can assure you headshots definitely are able to get the job done. Anyway, after tagging him, I uh, do start to uh, rush him a bit more with this ramp tactic, tactic. and um, sadly though, whenever you jump, like when you fall, it seems like you kind of slow down which is incredibly annoying now as this uh fight's going on another thing i feel like i may have just noticed that i want to point out is a similarity between this game and a uh, pubg and fortnite mobile actually is in the top where the coordinates are you can actually see like gunshots and footsteps and stuff because this game was originally mobile before pc so maybe i don't know maybe they meant to add that in I'm not quite sure but as you uh, see, just like in the last fight, applying pressure, trying to avoid him from healing. She able to hit quite a lot of shots and him get him pretty low. Um, and something I didn't talk about earlier, I binded this to Z, but you have like a special button to build your own fort, so check that out if you play this. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we end it right here. Pretty, I won't say too easy, but with the burst rifle, very effective. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.